Hello and welcome to mycadsite.com and this video tutorial is going to show you how to create some dimension styles. Now when you first start uh, with AutoCAD and you do uh, just a basic dimension, AutoCAD will create something like this and that is just a default dimension style that's set up with arrows, text, four decimal places and uh, pretty standard, pretty straightforward but it's not always what you're going to want. So what we're going to do is create a new style and show you some of the options that are available and uh, then you can start creating your own for uh, custom work and different types of drafting. So let's just get into it and the command you want to start with is ddim and this brings up the dimension style manager dialog box and you can see you've just got the default standard dimension style so what we're going to do is click on the new button create a new one and I'm just going to call this dim style 1 and it's going to be based off the standard dimension style which is fine and so I'll press continue and now this opens up a new window and you'll see there's a series of tabs across the top and we're just going to go through each of these and change a few things lines is the first tab and I'll generally just leave this alone and what this does is just do things like the um, extension beyond the dimension lines like this little area right here uh, the gaps and colors and stuff and generally AutoCAD does a good job of scaling these all and making them look right just the way you want. But there are times you may need to adjust them, so you can do that there. Symbols and arrows. This is one you might change to um, different things uh, like dots. And you can see how your preview changes right away. To boxes, architectural ticks if you're doing uh, architectural drawings. It's a pretty standard way of doing it. And for this exercise, I'm just going to change it to closed blank arrows, just for something a little different. And I'm going to leave everything else uh, the same. Now for text, here's where we can uh, get into a few more options. And what I'm going to do is create a new textile just for my dimensions. So you can see there's a little button to the right of the textile, so I'll click on that. And that opens up the standard AutoCAD textile dialog box. So I'm going to create a new one and I'm going to call this dim text. And so I'll click on this and I'm going to choose my old favorite down here, Romans. And you can see I get a preview of it. It's really nice. AutoCAD gives me all these previews so I can see what I'm doing. I'm going to make the width just a little narrower. 0.8 means it'll be 80% of the full width of a regular. So I'm going to set that current and close. Now what I need to do is come back in here and select my new dim text so that it's there. So you can see my uh, text is already looking a little different. And I'm going to keep my text aligned horizontal or I can change it to uh, align with dimension line. You'll see how that looks a little different. See how this one is now lined up versus just being horizontal. So let's just check that one as well. And everything else I'm just going to keep the same. Fit is another tab I generally leave alone. Let AutoCAD do its uh, thing with the best fit option selected. And now we'll get into primary units. Now precision is probably the biggest one to look at. And I'm just going to go to single decimal point. And I'm going to add a suffix of inches because I'm drawing in inches in this case. And once again, you can see the preview. And everything else is uh, looking pretty good. So the next thing we're going to look at is alternate units. Now where alternate units gets used is if, for example, I want to have my dimensions in inches and millimeters. 
and in this case millimeters will be my alternate unit so I'm going to check this and AutoCAD's already set it up to be a multiplier so meaning my dimension of one inch will be multiplied by 25.4 to give me millimeters and I'm going to put millimeters in here as the suffix and I'm going to put this below the primary value and once again the preview just keeps updating with everything I do and now my dimension is set just the way I want it um, I'm actually going to change my uh, precision on that as well so with that set I'm good to go and now I'm going to make sure I've selected dim style 1 and set current and close so now when I do a dimension you'll see that it'll look different than the one I did previously so now I've got 3 inches or 76.2 millimeters and this uh, can be a real handy uh, way of dimensioning things if you're sending it out for manufacturing in various countries people have uh, all the information at their fingertips and it's not going to be uh, up to them to do the translation from three inches to millimeters so there's no confusion later on so that's basically how it works now if I scale everything up I'm just going to scale this 10 times bigger. So now my uh, piece is 30 inches long. But if I'm looking at it from here, I can't really read my dimensions. So what I need to do is use the dim scale command. And instead of being a dim scale of 1, I'm going to scale everything up. Uh, well, let's just say 10 times and now you'll see that nothing's changed and what I have to do is apply those changes so I just type in hyphen dim style and the hyphen is very important in this case and you see I've got a few options here and the one I want is apply so I could type in an A which I would normally do or just hit apply and now select the objects usually what I'll also do is just type in all to make sure I get all my dimensions and press enter again and now all my dimensions are scaled up ten times so that means the text is ten times taller the arrows are ten times taller the extension gap right here is ten times taller and dim scale is how you get your drawings looking just the way they want you want them to if I go into a layout, I'm just going to go in and delete these and pan this over. Now what I can do is if I do a dimension here, you can see, wow, that's going to be huge. So if I'm dimensioning in a layout, I usually just want to have a dim scale of 1. So now I can go back and put my dimension in and what it'll do is read the actual dimensions which is a great bonus 30 inches and everything's all set to go even though I'm and it's all scaled nicely as well so that's a quick look at dimension styles this is covered in uh, my CAD site tutorial 4-11 so uh, Go to my CAD site, you can get a free AutoCAD course, you can learn everything from the very basics straight up to 3D rendering and modeling. Thanks for watching.